So I'm going to, be, going to be talking about the management of advanced prostate cancer today. Prostate cancer has evolved over the, over the last uh, 10 to 15 years as far as the treatments were concerned. In 2004, we only had one treatment which was demonstrated to improve survival, and that was docetaxel. Since 2010, we've had five approvals by the FDA for various different drugs in various different classes for castrate-resistant prostate cancer. These include other chemotherapeutic agents such as cabazitaxel, hormonal agents such as abiraterone and enzalutamide, uh, uh, isotopes such as radium-223, and immune agents such as Provenge. The real question that comes forth to the clinician is how do we best sequence these agents and how do we maximize their therapeutic efficacy? And that's really not known at this particular point. But what we're seeing now are several different trends. Firstly, moving some of these treatments up earlier in the course of metastatic disease before patients become castration resistant seems to give a better outcome as far as survival is concerned. And that's seen with both abiraterone, recently from the Stampede trial, as well as the Latitude trial, as well as docetaxel uh, from the Stampede trial, as well as the Charted trial. We also are beginning to identify different molecular targets that we can move forth with or, or help to stratify our patients for prostate cancer. These include BRCA and DNA, muta or DNA repair mutations. Uh, we know that drugs such as uh, PARP inhibitors uh, do have effects in these particular uh, patients who harbor these mutations. Additionally, we can find mu uh, markers of resistance to hormone therapy, such as ARV7. So, it's becoming much more complicated and requires a much more sophisticated approach in drug selection for patients with metastatic disease. Oh, absolutely. So, in, as I said, in 2004, uh, docetaxel was approved by the FDA, and that was the first agent that demonstrated a survival benefit. And albeit it was modest in metastatic disease, about three months. If we look at all of the other agents, such as abiraterone, enzalutamide, Provenge, uh, radium, uh, cabazitaxel, although that's a second line agent, we see that the survivals range between three and five months, or the improvement in survivals range between three and five months. So we're seeing modest survival benefits uh, when we move some of these drugs earlier, such as docetaxel or abiraterone, we're seeing a much greater impact on the patients. A hazard ratio of about 0.75, which is about a 25% reduction in the risk of death. And a high-risk patient with metastatic prostate cancer, if they get docetaxel up front, they can get about a 10-month improvement in their median survival. Uh, so that's, that's showing a bigger effect when you're giving it earlier. Well, we're learning how to manage our side effects better than we did before. Um, certainly with the hormonal agents, fatigue does seem to be an issue. Same thing with chemotherapy. Uh, we're better managing uh, this by looking at different drug schedules and trying to uh, f uh, encourage the patient to exercise and do other things that may make them more energetic. Uh, neutropenia, now we're using growth factors to support that with patients who are uh, receiving chemotherapy. So we have better uh, secondary uh, treatments to help us improve the outcome in these patients, better toxicity, and hopefully better, more drug administered. This potentially could lead to a better outcome.